Good evening. Welcome back to Play the Hits. This is Max taking the helm on one of my favorite games, Mischief Makers, totally for the first time tonight. Oh, yeah. Uh, nothing yeah. nothing went wrong. Yeah, this no is, technical difficulties stream. whatsoever. No. P pardon our progress, LOL. <laughs> no, Max, I was thinking <sighs> about the intro to this game, and nothing takes you back to the 90s more like a, a grown man trying to casually rape his robot daughter. That's, yeah, there is, I mean, that's still <laughs> Japan. Yeah. That's still, but you don't see that in video games too much anymore, I guess. That's, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm not trying to wax I'm, nostalgic about I'm not it. Trying. Yeah, I, I don't quite that's, know why that is, but somewhere along the way, we, video games we lost days. our zest for, for rapey old men. Oh my God. Uh, Probably so yeah, because we, we started electing them in America, so. Whatever. Yeah. Oh my God. We, uh, we got. Didn't get to the first stage quite, but we were able to uh, make a save and, you know, put the name in and everything yeah, before dive the Sparks pointed out that your audio was not coming in and I sounded like a crazy person. Hey, cool. We got to see the intro all over again. <laughs> you know, when I was a I kid, I, I read that as Planet of Cancer. <laughs> like, yeah, why? so did why I a lot. Do, why would you do and that? It, it's, it's still like, what well, just sounds, everything is like, hey, it's a cancer ball. Mm -hmm. and, Here's cancer land. <laughs> oh, I wish I were fucking dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. But yeah, I've it's probably been like at least 15 years, probably longer since I've played this game. Right. Um, I was testing it out a bit today because I really did not appreciate before like setting up the um, retro arc and everything that the N64 for all intents and purposes had six face buttons mm -hmm. you know with with the C buttons and a lot of times they were relegated to like a camera or something but a lot of games use them and you really had six buttons to play with yeah. you know on the front um you were not and this wrong. game being one of them like all the dashing uh which you could do with the pad uh -huh. but it was not it was well, not fun this is one of it, the only games i can think of where you use the D-pad on the N64 instead of the joystick, right? The joystick doesn't even work. Correct, yeah. the joystick they, does they nothing in you. this game. Yeah, Yeah. and so for that reason, the Z button also does nothing in this game. Yeah. That I would mean, be really I guess awkward. It, it makes sense because... Oh, yeah, that'd be physically impossible. It makes sense <laughs> because it's a pure side-scroller. Like, you don't actually do any 3D navigation, but... Yeah. Also, I'm, this is really pushing the boundaries of what we can call 16-bit. <laughs> <laughs> this is that's true. This is absolutely not 16 bit, but something it's tells, okay. me, something tells me we'll probably be playing this long past 16 bit summer. Probably. I mean, it's this not like an short extremely game. long game, but it's not but short it's, either. It's not short either. We're, we're probably true. talking like if you want to get enough of the um, collectibles to see the whole ending, we're, we're probably talking uh, uh, know, that's five true. or six hours. It's not like an optional thing where here's the secret ending. It's more like, uh, yeah. do you want to see? the ending in its entirety correct yeah. you better get the secret gem in every single in stage every some stage, of them yeah. are really hidden mm -hmm. and, well, and i'm not gonna remember I remember just being bears to get yeah i could i couldn't and you know what funny enough stage one it's one of the easiest gems to get and it took me forever as a kid oh really because they introduce the gems in this stage and they just have them in a little thing that you can't break and the gold gem being one of them. So this stage technically oh, has two yeah. gold gems. You're right. It's just you can never collect the one that, you know, they're just showcasing. And I thought that you had to get it. So I spent so long trying to throw a bomb at it. Yep. When it's just this thing. Like, that's it. <laughs> you seem to be doing all right so far, though. <laughs> yeah. So so as far yeah. as the, yeah, it was that one. Uh, it's just like, how the heck do I get that? I want uh, it so bad. There's no way. There's no one that's so bad. Oh my god. Um, yeah, but as far as how to play this game with like a standard either PlayStation or Xbox controller, uh, and you know what? Most of these people are. I mean, if our viewers want to see the story of Mischief Makers, there's not much there. It's. Uh, I, I'm just here for last... Maria, for Marina's bouncing titties. Oh my god. <laughs> this. <laughs> Well, I, I don't think I was thinking when you put the the age in. Um, she, she's thirty five. It's cool. 
Because what was what was what Shulk? He was from Oh Zeno Saga. Zeno right? Saga, yeah. Yeah, Zeno Saga and or Zeno Blade. That's what I'm thinking. Of. Oh, Zen, yeah, Zeno Blade Chronicles. And so That's Zeno right. Blade X, I think, was the one. Did it was it based on age or was it just you could increase? Yeah, it would increase the bus size and to a ridiculous degree. Oh, there was one game. Oh no, I think I remember it's that. Dead or Alive. I'm thinking of Dead or Alive. Oh really? I think it was Dead or Alive too. You put your age in as 99 on the Dreamcast. <laughs> and it made the jiggle physics like fucking insane. It was the stupidest shit ever. That's amazing. I don't, don't understand why it's like, oh, are you super old? Well, now you, you can you enjoy can these enjoy teddies. This. Here yeah, you go. Right? You've so, earned it. <laughs> Sega always did kind of do things differently than the rest of the <laughs> industry. Yeah. And okay. They so definitely what? marched to the beat of their own drum. <laughs> Let's see now, this is a good looking game. I, I don't think I appreciated that fully as a kid. It, it is a good looking game. Like it's very interesting style for the N64. Yeah. Like, obviously wouldn't be possible on. Um, oh, not in the SNES. You know, something before yeah. it. But at the same time, it's not like they're not trying to like uh, technically push boundaries, but it's still very pretty. Yeah, no, it, it is a good looking game. And, 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 you know, probably has aged a lot better than many N64 games as a result. Yeah. But so, like the the blend of 3D and sprite, well, more like the pre-rendered style, isn't it? It's, it's kind of Donkey Kong Country-esque. Yeah, yeah. I really like the character. Or I like Marina looks really good. Yeah. You know, just... And then the Clancers. I mean, I've... I've <laughs> their uh, faces always bothered me a bit. Yeah, me too. Like, There's something deeply unsettling about the concave like eyes. like vol yeah. volcano people or something. Right. But... <laughs> now, is Marina a robot or is she a human? She's she's a intergalactic robot something Sex queen galactic yeah. ninety nine I don't know okay There's, she, that's she what I introduces thought. herself a lot as that I think that so so really it's not creepy that he's trying to rape her it's just you know unconventional see what I don't yes that that is you know what I mean if y'all are gonna blame me and make me the villain anyway right? like yeah. I'm gonna shake. get my fill. I'll fucking shake, shake right now. I think that guy just tells me how to jump over his house. <laughs> or maybe it was this guy. These tutorial stages. Your oh, slider, slider jump. jump. Oh, I love the slider jump. Yeah. yeah. God, this game is. The controls were tight too. Yeah, they were. So for this, they're basically to do the C buttons. You have to hold R two, and okay. in order to do them all. So. And then like triangle and circle don't do anything and without holding it square and x are like jump and grab oh so okay it, it takes some getting used to yeah i'm, I'm actually wondering i'm thinking like maybe i get one of those bluetooth uh, ones that nintendo is selling right the n64 yeah. controllers like you can make uh, that happen easy yeah i could they're or, not or they're you not can just so get on anymore. like amazon and just find a usb n64 knockoff yeah there are those but i don't know <laughs> I can support the official shit. Why not? Yeah. Let's see. Oh, what do you have to say? Okay. Yeah. This is okay. You know where what? Did, where I, did, I know how to play the game. Why does Why does he have a Santa hat? I mean, this is an alien planet, right? Do they have Santa? Sure. Sure, they do. Santa's universal. Yeah. <laughs> Literally, inter intergalactic universal. <laughs> intergalactic Santa Claus. Confirmed. So how's your week going, buddy? It's going pretty Monday. well. It's uh, let's see, yeah, not not too bad. Had a had a nice weekend. What did I do? Let's see. A friend had a birthday party. Uh, it was Sweet. fun. Uh, I mean, it was supposed to be at the beach, but then you know we kind of got rained out. How was the weather over the weekend over there? Oh yeah, we got some rain. Yeah, it was the whole time. It was like sat all day Saturday. It was just like misty, just never freaking lit up, but it was never like stormy. Right. And uh, Sunday was that same thing for like half a day. Oh, right. Um, I did work both days, but just six hours, six uh -huh. to twelve thirty. That's nothing. So. No. Oh, yeah. This guy tells you that tapping is technically quicker. So. Uh -huh. And I will never do. The only time I'll do that is during that stupid relay race. Yep. When you got to to get the gold gem. Uh, yeah. Aside from that, it's C buttons all the way. All like, the way. Because it's weird. It's it's fucking it does, weird. It's not quite responsive, but once you get going, then you can just keep doing it. Yep. So, oh my god, this guy. You know, is one, so... one of the great ironies about Indiana is that um, our citizens, by and large, will talk till they're blue in the face about how global warming is a hoax. But then complain that every single time we get even a minor storm front in, 
at least one town uh, gets a tornado. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Does it, like every single storm system that we've had this year, like, has come with tornado watches. It's just fucking stupid. It's yeah. We don't. But, but get, no, like, climate get, change is not a thing. I guess we get tornado watches and and stuff like Mr. you know Gold pretty regular Jam. in the Midwest. It's tornado central, but yeah. we don't typically get it like. Like Twice every in a week. other, yeah, exactly. That that like, is it did, is just shitty. Was it like three weeks ago or something that, or maybe it was a month ago? But yeah, it was. We had two tornado watches where we had to go down to the basement because it was mm -hmm. like uh, the sirens are going off in the oh, city. That so sucks. At O'Hare, they had they saw one touchdown. So oh my god, yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, that it's is not insane. common or didn't used to be common. No, that's the hint ball. Which come on, libs, you afraid of a little tornado? <laughs> You know, one of my, as selfish and stupid as this sounds, though, um, I'm so relieved to finally have an electric car. Um, but one of the things that would bum me out about a conservative presidential candidate getting elected, you know, more than like the racial injustice and the potential threats to democracy as we know it, it would probably slam the brakes on electric infrastructure. <laughs> uh, yeah, as far as like, because they're trying to really invest in like every parking garage, like all over the place having yeah. yeah and that's good you know that's how it that's how it should be it's... well my 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 big idea um that i'm sure there's all kinds of reasons why that i'm not thinking of as to like why this couldn't happen but but what i would do is uh you know how like they gave huge tax incentives for um companies to like clean up their um greenhouse emissions and yeah. how that actually did for a while have have an immediate effect until we, you know, the Trump presidency and we deregulated everything. Um, but but I would do the same thing. Like I, I would give like huge tax incentives to um, Shell, Marathon, BP, Speedway. If they um, for like every parking space they have, they also installed like an electric meter. Yeah. Well, like. Uh, what would be the downside there? They're they're making extra money off the electric chargers and they're getting tax breaks uh, yeah, for, for doing it. Oh no! Uh -oh. I don't want to do that. Okay. You suck. I I fucked up. I guess that was the <laughs> wrong way to get the gold gold gem. And again, I'm like I know I know nothing about how like laws actually work or tax breaks actually work. Um, so I'm sure there's something that I am completely overlooking as to why that couldn't work, but. To me, it seems like just such an obvious thing. Like, put some money out there for businesses who want to have electric chargers on their property, and yeah, yeah, let them let the, them take the only, advantage of that. The only, uh, it's not a downside. It's just I could see, like, a certain political party being like, "No, this is." Uh, I mean, what would they even say? It's it's that's freedom. Of, I used like, to be able to go to I used to be able to go to my gas station, pump my gas without some <laughs> lib there charging his electric girl foo foo car. <laughs> I mean, it's crazy yeah. the resistance. Is it like uh, to, to, to absolutely cars are nothing more yeah. powerful? Yep. You know, but people there it is. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Once well, something is politicized, any common sense or reason just goes right out the fucking door. Yep. That's what happened with COVID. Like, it didn't need to be a political it didn't thing. Need to be a political thing. Yeah. Except exactly. that Trump was in the goddamn White House and didn't like wearing masks. Oh, right. To do it. And so, and so, you know, millions of his own—not well, millions, but th thousands of his own constituents died because why? Their their orange demigod <laughs> didn't want to didn't want to wear a mask and had to make it a thing. Yeah. Yeah, of, of all the things that he is, um, you know, being indicted for, that, that that's one that I would love to see. Like there, there are many people who died because they got bad, bad medical advice from a man who shouldn't be giving any medical advice. Yeah. <laughs> hey, he's so so damn confident in everything he says. It's like, uh, oh. no, it's, yeah. Mm. Well, anywho, we're back on the politics, <laughs> yeah. which is which is par for the course for this channel, but. Oh my god, getting the C buttons right is uh, <laughs> a little difficult. And I imagine like, okay. so. I mean, it's not too bad. I, it's just kind of getting used to it. It's like, oh, I want to dash off this. No, I actually want to jump like that. Right. But then oh, I have god. to hold the R2 button to actually... All right, let's get you right on the quick one. All right. 
So I just gotta remember. So so what do L and R on the N sixty four controller do in this game? In this game, nothing. Well, so so why not just make the them. C buttons L one, L two, R one, R two? Let's see. And then the face buttons, because there's A and B. L no, like dashing. Oh God, I would hate that. No, <laughs> to do to do dashing with the uh, the triggers and and shoulder buttons. Well, no. well, in that case, Never. just make it make that specific one circle or something. What? Let's so dashing right. So so yeah, A A B X square. Uh, mm -hmm. whatever the dash C button is, make that circle. And then the other three C buttons map to R1, R2, L1. Yeah, but I like dashing left. I, I have to dash up sometimes when I'm like jumping over something. I have to do a Oh, that's right. The C, the C buttons dash in four directions. You're right. Yeah. That so it, it's, a, it's a little weird. <laughs> Wait, what is? Okay, <laughs> I didn't get this far when I was playing, so. Welcome to Spike oh, Land. Oh, geez. I, I just totally you skipped the story. I die? wanted to. I wanted to know more about Spike Land. <laughs> I don't think there's anything to know, Max. <laughs> <laughs> Ow. Okay, let's see if I... Oh, they shoot fucking lasers. There's, there's a lot I've forgotten about. Cl Clancer, Clancer is a planet clearly in the throes of late-stage capitalism. <laughs> Spike Land. Spike Land. Hey, buy your oh, kids geez. this bag of broken glass. <laughs> All right, you know what? I am going to give her... Let's see. Shake, shake. So avoid the thorns ahead. Try hovering if you press. Oh, you know what? Okay, okay. This, that's enough of that. You can roll without being hit. I do. I do remember how to do some of this stuff. Right, let's... Eep. Oh no. <laughs> I don't remember. Okay. I suck. Okay, Max. I, I have an idea for you. Are you ready? This 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 would actually yeah. make sense in this game. Oh what right. what? That was Spike Land. I'm done with Spike. You're done with Spike Land. Fuck Spike. Okay, I'm okay. not. I'm not gonna go for the gold gem this time. So, so here we go. Here we go. A A B, um, X square, um, X square. Okay. Le left dash L one, right dash R one, up dash triangle down dash circle. That's still the the left and right dashes. I hate would be on a shoulder. I would have to. What, yeah. you, never, you never played Symphony of the Night? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> if I have to, I'll do it that way. But I think I've got I've gotten used to putting one putting stuff like that on the triggers all the time. But then for this game, it's just it's because you have to do so much of like uh 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 like to do that with triggers. I don't know. It would be a really little weird. See, see, yeah. see, to me, dashing with L one and R one sounds really natural. What what is what is this? What is going on? Here? I don't know. Something is... something's wrong. <laughs> They have these different species of. Shake, shake. Oh my gosh! You know the best right, part about see. this game are the freaking boss fights. Oh my god, the bosses are fucking. Amazing. They, they go and like full on like as... yeah, like super sente bosses essentially. <laughs> All right, let's see. Can I reach this thing? Ugh. I bet you if you Ugh. mapped it to the triggers, you could. <laughs> no. Ah, <laughs> uh, I no. mean tri triangle and circle would still be up dash and down dash, which would be the most difficult ones to pull off consistently on the triggers because you don't you don't think of r2 and l2 as being up and down you do think of l1 and r1 as being left and right though like your your lizard brain can make sense of that yeah see what i'm saying yeah 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 all right can i let's see <laughs> as he no. continues with oh, this <laughs> horrifying control scheme <laughs> kill him yeah i mean oh, shit, he, was, yeah. he was like making fun of me trying dancing put him in the fire everything. Nice. Fuck yes. Marina is ice cold. <laughs> okay. I think, you know what? That was just the end of where that wins. So that's actually not going to do anything for me. So. Uh -huh. And Miss Hint, I'm not, I'm not ever getting so, her shit again. Although so maybe. Speaking of the in indictment, uh, have you, uh, have you been following Trump's like random, like Horrified. I've been following the indictment stuff, but not what he's been like oh my God. spouting on part, what part, not parcel, parser, parkour, whatever. Parkour, something like His that. Stupid Parler. Twitter knockoff is. Yeah, right. Parkour. Parkour. <laughs> parkour. Conser conservative parkour. <laughs> Which is just parkour, but you complain about everything being unfair <laughs> the whole time. <laughs> uh, oh, nice. Let's see. I forgot you and can then do that. Down. There you go. Oh. You suck. I do suck. <laughs> I'm telling know. you, your, your controller is ass backwards. Is what, what, the, what it is. <laughs> it's the default, I swear. 
It's the N64. It's, uh, it's just a bad controller. Get out of here. It's just, just it, it, you know what? I love the controller, but it was it was hey. kind of yeah. Wait, I just it thought had of its something. Problems. Um, you you have a USB GameCube controller? Ah, uh, no, that that would be bad because then you'd have the C stick. Yeah, it would. Uh, now they do map by default. Oh, did I change it? No, they do have the C buttons on the right stick, kind of like a C stick. Yeah. But uh, I hate that. Yeah, the the stick is not the same as the tactile buttons. You're right. All right, I'm only I'm only gonna try this like, ten more times. Seven more yeah. times. Yeah. Well, but anyway, so so Trump is going you know full like you like exactly like you would expect him to react about this. But oh yeah. The the really troubling thing is that in the last two days he started doing like all kinds of dog whistles to like his violent base. There like go. uh, he goes, the, uh, these people aren't humans. They're monsters trying to to destroy our country you have to stop the monsters and oh so, yeah so he, like, i have heard that yeah so so he has He's like a little bit of deniability there up. like he, he can, yeah exactly he can say that oh no i didn't i didn't tell anybody to act violently except <laughs> you know exactly how the proud boys are going to hear he that knows shit. what he's doing and it's fucking evil you know it's, it's, it's kind of weird because if he he put the same level of effort and cunning into um you know governing and philanthropy as he does like pettiness and coded messages for racists like he would be you know a wonderful human being <laughs> <laughs> but no he does not do that wait why can't i grab this guy what are you trying to do exactly what damn it <laughs> <laughs> i'm trying to grab him i'm assuming that's kind of the, the point but let's oh is see. that what you're supposed to do i i think touch him touch him in his secret places there it is <laughs> Shake them. I All like right. the hearts that come anything? out to. Oh, thank you, my queen. No, okay. All right. Well, you have never been touched like that before. Oh, mm. oh, what thank you. What do I need you. to do with this guy? Nothing. Kill him. There you go. Oh wait. Oh, nice. oh hey. All right. Look All at right. that. Look at that. Yeah, your uses. Oh, they come yeah. back though. They come back. They do come back. I right, miss him. What do you What do you got for me? You think this, this game, game is, game really, is really, easy, really easy, don't you? <laughs> well, not right now. <laughs> wow, it's just taunting me. Right? You think this game is so fucking easy, don't you? And are you using a PlayStation controller? What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> grab Kircher with shows where you can grab them. It's all in the timing. Okay. I do love shaking. God, right, when you, you think about like just the sheer number of like incredible games that came out from 97 to 98... It is mind blowing. Yeah, it, it's it, this year though is no slouch when it comes. Oh to no, games. not at all. Like, it's well, crazy. And but I'm yeah, sure, you think sure about to 1990. People... Yeah, go ahead. Like 1998, when it's mm -hmm. like the first of all the 3D revolution. We yep. were getting stuff on the PlayStation, but then one you have Mario 64, which really ushered in, you know, the modern the real 3D shit. era. Yeah, right. Yeah, no, okay. I, I was thinking about that when when that title screen popped up. 97, man, like, and, and again, I think you're right. This Golden year, eye. like the the kids, the kids today, who are growing up with, you know, 2023 oh. is going to be their nostalgic oh year, where like this will be the one that they remember all the great games came out. Um, but for us, that really is 97. Like 97 was an absolute landmark of a year for for games. Yeah, you gotta throw those. Ninety-eight. You gotta throw, you the, throw kids the kids into the house. Yep. Yeah, I just had to read the freaking story. Yep. If only. Come on, you caught him once. You threw bastards. him into the fire before. You'll do it again. I'll punish, do it again. punish him first. I'll... There you go. Just for good measure. Oh God, it was worth it. It was worth it. I mean, you know what? No, it has to be a net gain for me. Nope. <laughs> there we go. All right. Fucking get hurt without me getting hurt. Oh my God. All I wanted to be was Santa. Fuck you, kid. There nice. we go. <laughs> well, Take your piece of shit, son. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Why is there grab nothing your up older here, son? though? I really don't get that. Yeah, no, that is weird. Where's the gold gem in this? Or does not every stage have a gold gem? No, it, it, every stage has a gold gem. They totally do. I see. All right. And some of them really are obscure. Yeah, no, <laughs> it looks like I'm about man. to like body slam him. Right. Yeah. 97. There, there will 
th- this year is amazing. Like there are so many good games coming out this year, both I mean, re- like, remakes and new titles. But oh yeah, but Ocarina man, of Time in '98. Yep, like, '97 to '98, like was absolutely the most formative year for me as far as gaming. Final and, Fantasy VII, which is to was say, in, in my life, I believe. Yep. Yeah. F- it started honestly. January was when FF7 came out, so FF7 really kicked it off. But really, it had started, like you said, with Mario 64 and, and the birth of the N64. That it really kind of the, the the console wars that we remember most fondly really began in the fall of '96 when the 64 came out. Really? Yeah. Ah, oh, damn it. Because because it was <laughs> no, Mario 64. <laughs> um, you, you had uh, Shadows of the Empire and, and all that good stuff, and then Sony clapped right back with Final Fantasy VII and. Um, <laughs> Oh shit! Oh, well now, now I can come here. Okay. Oh, I see what you got to do. You got okay. Throw throw that down. Forget it. Don't oh, do it. Oh, jam! <laughs> no. Oh, you're gonna make it. You're gonna make it. Oh yeah, you're gonna. You actually are gonna make it. Good for you. Oof! Nice. All right. hey, I didn't believe in you. Oh, cool. There it is. But yeah, no, it was, it was like a back and forth, like the N64. Um, in those two years, like you said, it had Goldeneye, it had um, Star Fox 64, uh, and it culminated with Ocarina of Time in 98, which was, you know, of course, the most famous N64 game of them all. Uh, but then during that whole time, Sony just kept releasing banger after banger, too. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. It was. Uh, and and yeah, most was of them time. were RPGs. Damn. <laughs> like. Try, try harder. harder. Oh, fuck you. you stupid <laughs> fucker. I didn't know what to do for a second. I was really lost. Black, black Oh, bla- Black <laughs> Man. Black Man. Right? I was like, this game's really progressive. Right? <laughs> Taryn from Neptun. Oh, yeah, you play as him for a little bit, don't you? Oh, yeah. What the hell? And it was funny because, like, the two stages that you play as him, I kind of like how he controls a little better than Marina. Like, his fighting Wasn't style. Wasn't he, like, really slow? Yeah, he fought. Yeah, he's like a punch But he was pretty boy. slow. <laughs> He's strong in that. Okay. A little too healthy if you catch my drift. Yeah, seriously. Yeah, shake me. Shake me hard. <laughs> Come on, hell? queen. Block man blood. Oh, that's right. So this isn't really his play style, but you get to, like, ride on his weird form. Oh, yeah, that's right. I, wow, I, I totally I, forgot about I this I forgot shit. about it. Yeah, so did I. So wait, does that mean that every single, like, floating face you see is actually a person? Uh, wait, and is he killing people right now? Right? Where, where, you know what is the line yeah, between we... murder and, like, non-sentient object in this game? We shouldn't think too hard on it. No, wait. we really shouldn't. Forgot about that. Good God. <laughs> what? Is... Uh, oh, my great God. Game. This really great is game. great. Boof. <laughs> <laughs> I remember going into the fourth grade and like telling other kids about this game. Like, that's stupid. Uh, you should only play 3D games in the Nintendo 64. Yeah, this same game didn't get its due in, no, it in the not. US for sure. It's probably why also, we never I saw, saw a I remember, I remember Treasure, but looking at the intro, I was like, wait, Enix? What, what do they have yeah, to do with right? this? Yeah, right. Enix fucking helped what? publish it, yeah. Before it was Squeenix. Okay, hopefully this isn't the end of the stage. Oh, it's you totally know, it's the end of the stage. You know, it's kind of funny because um, Square and Enix um, had some really out there localization prog- projects. Like, for instance, the original Breath of Fire, which was a Capcom game. Capcom, was yeah. actually published in the U.S. by Square. The fir- yeah, the first I wonder one. what that is. Oh, shit. Why does that <laughs> thing have a penis for a head? I never noticed that. <laughs> I'm not wrong, right? That that is the head of a cock. No, that's a that's a really fat penis head. That's right. a fat dick. <laughs> <laughs> this is a one fat dick. <laughs> one fat. Here <laughs> some big Bob's fat dick. <laughs> oh, Harold wow. and Kumar. <laughs> oh God. Big uh, Bob's the cock meat sandwich. Ultra intergalactic cybot. I don't know what a cybot is. Cybernetic robot. G. Seems that's like saying chai tea. Cybot G. Cybot to- G. Totally different. That's a, totally a G. Yeah. The original, the OG. Oh, there we go. Oh, God. Oh, pfft. Hey, that was easy. Wow, that was <laughs> almost too easy. 
kill him. Oh, that is how you hurt him. Actually, you know what? I'm pretty sure this is how you get an S rank. Is you just beat the fuck out of him. Oh, this music is good too. It oh. is, yeah. Okay, uh, maybe do I gotta? You gotta do something to him. Cheek, cheek. There. Yeah, okay. No, okay. There he goes. Well done. Ooh. Good God! Like, does everything explode when it dies? Escape, Escape from, from trouble. trouble. That's right, because in Japan it was day. troublemakers. It was troublemakers. It was such an arbitrary change. Like, can they be consistent? No. <laughs> or they could have at least changed that translation to escape from mischief. From mischief. <laughs> right? I, I like troublemakers better. <laughs> oh, I agree. Yeah. God, and that's right. We we played through this whole game um, in, in Japanese, right? In Japanese, yeah. The we first did. time. Because, because family video in Napoleon freaking got a... Japanese cartridge and there was no region lock on the N64. Yeah. As long as they shaved the things off, which they did. Well, yep. So the, someone the huge... someone there knew to do that. Yeah. Some someone was looking out for the, the little the little geeks in yeah, the I wonder who that person was. <laughs> who who was our archangel in the nineties there? Right? Uh well not probably know. the same guy who put Legend of Lyon flair on the <laughs> right? on the uh animated section instead of the adult. <laughs> you know it was, was it was doing. Terry. Walking, walking around the block. Thanks, was, Terrence. You know, <laughs> I'm going to give those kids a story. <laughs> Crazy Terrence. <laughs> Crazy Terrence. Uh, I'm going to make sure they grow up right. <laughs> With Look porn some big and Japanese. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. It probably wasn't easy for him because it had to have been someone older than us. And, and when we were growing up, like people who like Japanese anime and other, you know, foreign shit were, were always ridiculed and. I can only imagine what it was like for the generation right before us. Yeah, right? Yeah, that must have been even worse. Yep, somehow. Is, uh, and, like, kind of seeing the, the mass acceptance now is, is nice, but wait, okay, what am I... Okay, oh, God! Cool. Okay, well, this is, this is wait, over. Wait, which... Who am I killing? No, Doesn't matter. I don't want to kill you guys. Sorry, sorry. Oh, you're gonna. <laughs> you're gonna. Oh, oh, he's dead. Damn. All right. All right, they're holding their own. Marina's just one guy. Oh no! They all look, they all look the same to Marina. She can't make them out for me, so she's just indiscriminately I mean, beating the fuck out of everybody. They all look the same to me, guy. Like, what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> what do you mean, you people? What am I supposed to do? Ow! What am I supposed? Get maybe not kill us indiscriminately. I'm sorry. I'm my sorry. queen. My queen. Oh, you know what? That's how you get the gold gem here. Is um. Make sure none of them are begging and, and crying. Oh, I so see. You gotta protect them. Kind of hard. Maybe you can do uh, like a between episodes thing where you oh, get a whole bunch thing? of gold. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know. I guess they don't take that. Like the stages are really short. I'd forgotten like, yeah, how short they are. Yeah. And and there's one more gold gem in every in every uh, like ten stages or so. You have to like, um, what is it? Or is that one more gold gem? Oh no, it's not <laughs> that. It's the entire game that you have to average an A rank. So you have oh, to get an no. S rank in a bunch of. Wait. Like, like the easier you... stages, you want to like just do Here over and over again to get the S rank. Yeah, get the S rank. Yeah, because oh, yeah, getting right. an that A sucks. rank average is really hard. But that's what you need to get the secret gold gem. That sucks. <laughs> God. Oops, I mean, this is a great okay. game, so it doesn't suck that bad, but it sucks. No, no, it was it was really fun to do that, but... Oh, I just totally destroyed the... Oh, God. Wait, I want to... Okay, I want to I grab one of those bombs next time. I'll get it. I'll get it. All right, Max, what is your favorite gaming memory from, from your youths? Oh, God. Let's see. Um, well, there's a lot of things with, you know... RPGs, Final Fantasy games, yep. playing those with you, playing them with my cousin. Um, oh my god! And just like a lot I of died. also Resident Evil. Uh -huh. Oh my god, we didn't even talk about that when what it came a game to like changer, PlayStation yeah. games. Because oh, Resident RE2, Evil two ninety seven. Yep, that's right. RE was it ninety eight? No, ninety. I think ninety seven was Resident Evil two. Yeah, because ninety six. Oh, games were coming out. Quickly I know. Back in the day, Final, Final Fantasy was, seven, Symphony of the Night, Resident Evil I mean, two. Think the, Think if we were our age back then, because oh, it would suck. As kids, we, wouldn't have, we wouldn't be able to play everything. 
Well, but that's the thing is like, yeah, as kids, a year felt like a really long time. It did. Now it's nothing. Right. You know, but can you imagine like having like. Well, yeah, that's kind of how year, I, you how get I feel like this a new year. game every year. Yeah. Like, and, and yeah, we are getting like we're eating this year for sure. It's, yeah. It's, and it's and that's, how, that's how I feel, though. They're like coming out faster than I can reasonably play them all. Yeah. <laughs> that's I mean, true. I'm going to play them all, but <laughs> it's going to take me a little longer than it did when I was 12. Yeah. It's uh. Sorry, I, I totally rained all over your story. Go on. No, 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 no. That's okay. I'm just saying, like, if you had like a sequel, like, oh my god, are they going to come out with a second Resident Evil or something? And then, oops. Yeah, no. And, two uh, was really where Resident Evil hit its stride. Oh my god, for sure. Like, and that was the first one I played. I think it was the first one we both played. Yeah, but then we um, went back to one, and it was still great. But and but, it was it was awesome. It was kind of like it was a, iconic. But but two, two is just yeah. Yeah, two is where it's better at. in That's every way. That's <laughs> where it found its stride. It is better in every way. Um. But yeah, music's better, graphics better, everything. Uh, let's see. Okay. Leon and Claire are better characters. It's... Oh, and then the whole like. Oh, doing... the way that the stories the... intersected. That was that, exactly. that was so ambitious for '97 to have two stories and then two sub stories that can be activated when. I mean, that was really cool. Yeah. So like four paths. And then Hunk and Tofu were like deep secrets and. Damn. Oh yeah, that was and and Resident Evil One. Yeah, you could play as either character. But this is also they didn't cool. intersect in any way. No, it was the you same. Know, it, was it was the was same was story, or, right? Exactly. Yeah. Told from two different perspectives, like same puzzles, same rooms, everything. But the A and B scenario in two are completely different. Yeah. Oh. Duh. <laughs> <Hold on. laughs> okay. Well, at least that one's gonna be real easy. Yeah. All right. So, anyways, going back to the original meat of the question, your your favorite gaming. Me- I'm not asking for like your favorite game out of all those, but just like your favorite memory, because I've got a real specific one in mind. Mm. God, I feel like if it is it like thinking about what I was doing at the time or just something in a game that no, was like what, what's crazy like the most visceral? Me? Yeah, like the most visceral video game memory that you have. Like when, when you think of like, man, those were the fucking days. What come what comes to your mind from games? Uh, Final Fantasy IV, uh going to the okay. cave of the father. Ooh, and nice. that's a good one. And just it breaking the rules of having a boss, it just like as a random encounter. Oh yeah, that's and right. It scared the shit out of me. Behemoth, like, yeah. It was. Oh, it was. Just wasn't not... it like weirdly translated on the FF2 Easy Type? It wasn't Behemoth. It was like Bemoth or something. Bemoth, yeah, Bemoth. something like that. <laughs> because they didn't have enough characters. <laughs> yeah, Bemoth. I was. Uh, that's right. Speaking of, I um, because there's so many like FF6 hacks and tra- how oh. translations. Okay, yeah. let's try this again. Yeah, no, the only one you need is Ted Woosley Uncensored. Or there the is the Ted Woosley Pixel Uncensored, remastered. which, because I am very partial to the SNES FF3 uh, translation, and it's uh-huh. what we grew up with. Even I know there's issues, but there's also things that he did that oh, yeah. made he, it he was less good. dry. Right, you know? yeah. Yeah, he, he, was, he was a good translator and didn't really get credit for it until much later. Yeah. So he, because you know, you, you're trying to preserve the spirit of what they're saying. And hey, I do we think got a uh, first time chatter here, Lee one one three H, which is probably some kind of youth speak. <laughs> hey, it's play the hits. What's up, Lee? How's it going, Lee? Just talking about the good old days of 1997. Oh, well, that was easy. Yeah, well done. <laughs> All right, let me turn my phone back on because I had the chat going, and then. I gotta get the, yeah, we like, lost plate we of... lost Sparks after the original. Sorry, Sparks. Uh, yeah, <laughs> she'll be too much. She'll be back. She Wait, there wasn't a boss. Oh man, we're getting to the first boss tonight. I can we're feel getting it. to the first. Okay, okay. Well, I just gotta do these stages. Then. Yeah, just blast through them. Like I said, you can always like between episodes go back and get some gold gems. And yeah, we can blast. few S ranks. Well, anyway, so so um, the most visceral one for me, like the my my favorite like late nineties. I guess it would technically be early 2000, but but still like in that era. Um, yeah. The the launch of the Sega Dreamcast. Oh yeah. Oh because my gosh. Because that was like even more than the N64. That for some reason that one sticks out to me as like the future is now sort of yeah thing. And, and like a game which really in retrospect isn't very good at all, but I just gobbled it up at the time. Um, do you remember Blue Stinger? No. What is that? It was a sort of kind of Resident Evil clone, but in full 3D. Um, it was it was basically what tided Dreamcast owners over until Code Veronica came out. Gotcha. And it was also a release title. 
And I remember Ow. watching it thinking, holy shit, the, um, the graphics in this thing look like the cinematics from FF7. Which they did, but yeah. not because the... The graphics were so good, but because FF7 cinematics were so not good. <laughs> <laughs> but, but you know, I mean, like for the time though, that was imp- that was incredible to me. Like the a game that I remember playing just you know three years ago, which like you said felt like forever, was now essentially a experience that I could have in real time. Like that yeah. that was incredible. And then furthermore, like right after that. Um, well, there was Sonic Adventure, too, which was also mind-blowing. Um, and yeah. then right after, Shenmue came out. And, and oh, my God, that. Like, just getting totally lost in that game. And, and like, playing nothing else for months. And you I mean, know what? Literally months. Like, I, I beat Shenmue, like, three times and, and went out of my way to see everything in that game. I was so absorbed. That like the dream, The mind. Dreamcast, in general... I mean, pe- people wax poetic about how underrated the Dreamcast was, but... It's you, true. You kind of had to be there at its release because, you know, the PlayStation 2 was announced, but a- as a result of that, we really ignored, like, just how awesome the Dreamcast was. Yeah. Well, and, and, yeah. And it, it, the, was, it was truly, like, incredible to, to play it at launch. But, like, to yeah. see graphics go from this, which, you know, like I said, pretty game, um, but, but to go from this to... You know the 128-bit revolution, which essentially, like, there there are still games today that are made to look exactly like PS2 games. Oh God. <laughs> or, or Dreamcast games. It, it, it's just oh, yeah. kind of a magical era. <laughs> there was a there's a Metroidvania that uh, I think just got released on Steam. Wow. Okay. Oh God. Um, that it's like gone this better. old lady that uh, there's a lot of there's like big degrees of freedom, like as far as like wall jumping and double jumping and stuff like it looks pretty cool and the look of it is definitely like a dreamcast like a kind of like a rough 128 bit game sure yep i I love it it's i love the aesthetic and the why am i doing oh god because of the goddamn controller max (laughs) no no it's 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 the player it's the player (laughs) don't it's it's all don't hate the player hate the game okay there we go i just got to let go of r2 so i grab instead of dash backwards Okay. I didn't realize uh, that, but um, this game is 2.5D, isn't it? It is. Yeah. Oh, look Stuff at that. coming out of the yeah. You can stand on these platforms that are it, is this the round first, in background. Is this the first 2.5D? I don't know. This is the first that I saw of it. Well, I, I didn't think of it at the time. I just thought of it as like a really good looking SNES title, but Lee says he never played this, but he's interested in playing it. Yeah, ch- check it out, man. This is. This is a classic. Oh, I gotta get. Well, let's try this. Just dash over there. It'll be fine. Oh wait, no, No, yeah, that's right. That's how you get the gold gem. Yep. Okay, let's try. At least you can retry. Yeah. There you go. I never thought of that though. This this was probably, at least that I'm aware of, the first 2.5D game. Yeah. Like before that was coined, like. I don't think they set out to pioneer anything. I think it was just, you know, they wanted to make a side-scrolling game that still took advantage of the N64 hardware. Yeah, I'm trying to think what else looked like. Like, it was after. I know Yoshi's Story did that a little bit for the N64. Did it? Okay. Yeah, but I think this came out before Yoshi's Story. Well, I was going to say, the first time I remember hearing about a 2.5D, like like that, that phrase being used to describe a game i think was on the psp when um the remake of rondo of blood came out oh yeah as far as like saying 2.5 yeah like that was one of the first games that i remember like actually being called 2.5 that that had these kind of effects yeah where, where it was very much a side scroller but had 3d backgrounds and character models speaking of the dreamcast they they did like start a lot of things like mm-hmm. i think one shenmue is just like a fucking insane game it was and you talk yeah. about good memories you're right it, that was i was saying one specific thing but yep. that whole time that whole like year yes i mean yes sonic adventure one definitely sold me on the dreamcast oh yeah just because like the the blast processing no it was like um playing a demo of that 
and yeah. like how quickly it was going yep. was just blew and, my fucking and mind. you know what's crazy about it even, even though that game has been re-released countless times even on steam like with, with basically bottomless hardware upgrades none of the other versions oh, crap. run as oh nice none of the other <laughs> versions run as well as the dreamcast one that's yeah that's crazy like, like it had the least amount of glitches right. yeah you know what's cr- and and talk about like um what do you call it history being rewritten everyone thinks of sonic adventure as a super glitchy game uh-huh. and it, it wasn't some glitches yeah but it, it was some like glitches breaking. yeah but that was on the dreamcast it didn't not a no. whole lot but like and, very and occasionally there would be some like clipping glitches. and yeah exactly and it's probably just like sloppy porting true but but also there was something special about the dreamcast hardware it was like perfectly optimized for the games that sega was making Oh, I wanted to. I wanted to. You really I don't did. know why. Okay. You know what? You all die. I, just, uh, well, I gotta so, get back so into it because you can get really good at this game of just oh, like yeah. you're flying. The fact that they arrest your movement mm-hmm. when you throw something um, is a really is a really good feature. It is. This game was tight. Oh God. Well done. Good recovery. Um, okay. So anyways, it, it culminated then, like like I said, the entire Dreamcast era oh. is oh. the entire Dreamcast era is my most e- even though, you know, like I think of the games that I most love and like Xenogears and like all those there, there were a lot of PS1 titles on my, you know, all-time favorites list. Oh no. Oh god. <laughs> but when I think of like just thinking like we have arrived at the future, it's always the Dreamcast that comes to mind. And um nowhere is that more evident than oh then uh, at the end of Shenmue 2 because yeah. um, if you remember I played it on the Dreamcast by getting the PAL version and a boot disc yeah I do remember that yeah oh and that so, game was so the system was piracy central <laughs> yes oh it was so wonderful and still is um, <laughs> for that reason actually Damn it. Um, but anyways I, I remember I got to like the, the Kowloon area and I was nearing the end of it and thinking okay this is it this is the final boss this is the end of the game and it wasn't because you had that whole section where you meet Shenhua and you you go through the forest and everything. Yeah. A- and it was midnight on like a school night when I when I beat um, what I thought was the the end of the game. I'm like, okay, well I'll just see this little ending clip here where you where you go meet Shenhua and and you know yeah. like two hours later, two in the morning, and I, I'm in like <laughs> the when did that game come out? 2002. Uh, like f- 2001, something like yeah, that. Yeah. So I, I was either in like eighth grade or freshman year of high school. And I absolutely had to be to school the next morning. And I stayed up to like 2 a.m. Just like captivated nice. by like how incredible the ending of that game was. Yeah. It was... Oh, God. He's dead. That guy's He's dead. dead. Well, I think are they're crying, but aren't they? Aren't, aren't they fire guys? people? I, I, don't, I don't know who who's bad and who's not. Yeah, you know, right. Like, they all look the same. It's, lot... <laughs> it's true. Your Honor, they all look the same to me. <laughs> Okay, I'm, I have no idea. Oh, where... speaking of politics, that's the other great thing that's going on. I mean, you've you've seen like Florida, right? Or what's left of it? As far as as what's left of it? No, really, as their education as, um... system is fucked. Oh my god, it was it's. Well, okay, what's so that thing? The whole thing um, last year, pra- 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 years? Prague University or something like that. Prague, you know what Prague? I'm talking about? I, I do, yeah. Uh, they're they're using it as a curriculum, and it's it's not actually education. It is propaganda. And they're showing the they're showing like cartoon videos of Christopher Columbus saying, "Hey, it's better to be taken a slave than it is to be killed." And they're they're showing this as educational material. This is crazy shit. Like, it's yeah, fucked and up because because this is gonna have really long term consequences. Like, even if like oh, they know. Like, like, well, but even if in like the next two years we say, "Hey, this this needs to stop. You need to be teaching actual curricula." Um, like, there's still going to be, like, a bunch of fucking kindergartners whose earliest memories are oh, like, God. yeah, you know, slavery had some okay points. Yeah, oh like, my like, God. Yeah, like, this is acceptable to, to think this way about it. Oh, God. Also, I suck. You do suck. <laughs> this is not a hard stage. I, I, think, I think I'm bumming you out. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, yes, that is. And it was also the Board of Education in Florida kind of making this shit possible. The, they sh- they saying, should be hey, prosecuted. Like I, the, I mean, the whole th- what what happens? What happens when some of these fucking children, these five year olds who are watching Christopher Columbus, tell them that that hey, slavery wasn't all bad. 
When, when they try to apply for universities with that knowledge. Seriously. Or when they try to enter the workforce and, and think, you know, oh, yeah, sure, sure, I have black co-workers, but they're not like me. You know, they're, yeah, they shouldn't be oh paid God. the same as me. I, I mean, that oh. is... Do I still get the gold gem? Yes, you do. Literal oh. institutionalized racism. That That is mind-blowing to me that they're, we they're have... They're changing it. We've, we've literally regressed. Okay, cool. And yeah. yes, Lee, really, like, look, I mean, have a stiff drink, but then look it up. It, it is mind-blowing that this is happening in 2023. All right, there's a way to beat this guy quick. Oh, the lava, the lava. Oh, yeah, that's right. You got to get him to jump over the lava with you right there. Yep. Let's see. Um, oh, I guess you can carry him a little bit. I think I can carry him, like. God, this music. Okay, so. This is taking me right back. Nice, Max. Kill. Oops. Well done. I got I got a lick of the R2 button to throw them. Okay. I don't know. I mean, you both got hurt. <laughs> it's okay. There we go. Shit. That's how you do it. Well done. Escape from I think, trouble. Let me let me try that one more time. But no, I'll I'll, I'll be done with my them. my politicking after this. But that that I mean, it, should, it shouldn't be political. Like. As a nation, no. we should be we should all, like liberal or conservative, be looking at this and be like, dude, you really like need to back the fuck off DeSantis and make sure that these kids get an actual education. Yeah. Like this is and you know, Republicans are supposed to be this party of small government, right? Yeah. <laughs> like, like where the fuck does the government get off coming in and mandating that we show racist videos to five year olds? Yeah, it's and I know in their eyes it's not racist. It's the truth that the libs don't <laughs> want you to know. But god damn, like, is it really worth is it not fast enough? Literally sacrificing your children to to own the libs. Like, like, is there no bottom? I know. I'm serious. It's, like, where, no, where, where, where is rock? You. Where does this bottom out for conservatives? I have to think most of the like, as far as the people in power, like they know what they're doing. And, and they just, they don't want to lose any kind of control. And they feel like, okay, we need to, we're going to lose things if people, like, people who don't look like us, uh, people of other races, start getting more, you know, and they're able to function in society as we are. Oh, yeah, I, I agree completely. The same, uh, I know what you're saying, but, but, but it's, I mean, it's fucking children, dude. I mean, it's. I know. Like, they they, want, just they don't want children I have to be kids in school. as accepting as they are. Like, yeah. I mean, I, maybe it's because I have kids in school right now, but man, like I, that, that is horrifying to even think about. Like the, these kids' entire future is being ripped out from under them. And for what? For, for that orange fucking clown. Yeah. It's, oh, yeah, and so, and so that DeSantis can, libs, so, and so that DeSantis their... can be seen as a tough guy. Yeah. Oh. What the a, whole thing about what a like travesty. critical race theory, which isn't being taught in like at the college, level, I know, or at least not what they you know, think it is. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this is like oh, and and all they think of it's is just like, their oh, we're most recent to, boogeyman. Yeah, yeah. Like we're teaching our kids that white people are bad, and it's just like oh my god, like God's sake. it's it's crazy what people believe. It's and, and, and what, it's wild what? too. <laughs> Hey, Sparks. Sparks is back. She Sparks Twitch never back. notified her that we were back. That's all right. You just missed. You just missed us um, doing what we always do, which is remembering games that we love from the '90s and bitching, oh my gosh. Ab bitching about Republicans. <laughs> yeah, hey, uh, I'm talking about the Dreamcast. Right. Um, but no, I mean, oh, crap. Well, I, I think I derailed here. What was I going to say? Uh, let's see. You have kids in school and talking. Yeah. To oh, okay. So, so the point that I was just about to make. Um. I remember as a kid, yeah, race should not be a factor, Lee, absolutely. Um, I, I remember growing up in what was truly a really deeply conservative community and having yeah. some teachers who were probably, you know, by the book, walking the line, hardcore Republicans. But when it came time to teach the Trail of Tears or, mm -hmm. you know, um, it wasn't called climate change at the time. It was literally just like, you know, we have a pollution problem and we need to stop. Like, yeah. these like... And 50, the ozone 50 was a big year old, thing. Yeah, 50-year-old we like... Kids. Exactly, yeah. F these 50-year-old like conservative ladies, they were all for it. It's like, yeah, this was a horrible thing and it should never be repeated and we should do what we can to 
uh, to help people who have been displaced because of this. It was just a common sense thing to teach. Um, or, you know, hey, maybe we should not be polluting as much and we need to do better so that we can take better care of the earth that God has given us. And, yeah. uh, and that was that made so much sense. And it did make sense because it was just like an era where like right before. And I, I think it was kind of the, the Sarah Palin era that, that really kind of brought into focus what we see now. Yeah. Um, but but that was all just like common. It was not political at all. Like curbing pollution was good for everybody. Um, making sure that, you know, the, the genocide that we saw happen to the Native Americans never happen again. That was just common fucking sense. And yeah. now we're like. Well, was it really as bad as we were taught? Yes, it fucking yeah. was and is. <laughs> and why? Uh, oh, jeez. Yeah, you almost that. grabbed that star there. Oh, man. There's... Sparks, that's how you were taught, too. Did you grow up in, like, a conservative area, Sparks? Go on, Max. Oh. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Uh, it's just... Damn it. Okay. Um... <laughs> What was I even saying? Yeah, it's just... Uh, this is just a soapbox, so say whatever you want. <laughs> no, no, it's okay. It's... Oh, God. It is really sad. It's very it's, sad. Uh, <laughs> I'm really bad also at, like, handling precarious situations in video games and talking about anything serious. My brain is so dumb. <laughs> Sparks says uh, they barely... Or not Sparks, sorry, Lee uh, says, I barely got taught it at my time, but all I was taught was not to pollute in 2050 is when fossil fuels might run out and so get some windmills erected because it's slightly better yeah that's yeah good. but again that's that's a huge step above what we have now i, I mean like you, you you cannot get a teacher in florida to acknowledge that hey maybe we could be doing a little bit better to take care of uh the planet <laughs> it's just don't don't hear what don't believe what you hear on that c-span or whatever <laughs> sparks uh sparks says she grew yeah. up in a moderate area they had a GSA in high school, uh, but there were also about a dozen churches around the school. And again, though, like, I, that's what I'm saying. Like, it didn't used to be like a hard line between conservative religious people and, you know, common sense policies. Like, like again, not polluting or not disenfranchising large groups of people because their skin color is different. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, like I said, that that deep, like what I'm watching on the news right now about the state of Florida in particular, deeply bums me out. Because that's that right. Yeah, that, those kids I didn't think are, stuff like this would happen in my lifetime. No, like I was like, okay, things are mostly getting better. There's yeah, still we've some moved on. Stuff happening, right. like and and the stuff with George W. Bush, you know, the WMDs, the lie to get into war. I thought mm -hmm. that was the worst stuff that was going to happen. Yeah, same in our here. Lives, yep. You know, Ditto. and and at the time and, it felt like it. It's yeah. like, hey, we're, we're going to that, war for a lie. That's not yeah. good. Oh, and, there it is. And the there fact that is. we're literally... Oh, 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 you got it. Oh, God, they keep knocking you down a peg. <sighs> there we go. You got it. Nice. Okay. Worth it. Um, the we fact saw that Florida. we yeah, Sparks. literally and knowingly are destroying the world. Oh. To, like, just to... To own the libs. The, yeah, basically the short-sighted, like... What what is it like for I don't a CEO know, or something? I get it. Yeah, because like, they're the only all they're worried about is the, yeah their bottom line, right? The neck and the, for the next quarter, you mm -hmm. know. And it's like even if it tanks the company, it doesn't matter because they're going to be out of there. You yeah, know? Oh yeah, totally. But we only have this planet that we're sharing, and yep. even billionaires like yeah, there's 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 a book, and I ugh, this guy who's like a disaster planner. He's he's very well. Oh, I gotta get past. Lee that. starts sawing. Who's, <laughs> who's <laughs> who's known for, you know, being like, okay, this is how you like build a bunker and, and uh -huh. here's what you do in like an emergency situation. Um, he's been contracted by like people with a lot of money. I'm going to get this one on the right this time. <laughs> um, to be like, okay, well, we know. There we go. You got it. Okay. Left, left. No. Oh, damn it. You know what? I can still get it. Eh. Eh. Just eh. gotta be real fucking careful. <laughs> oh God. You know, I gotta. Sometimes you gotta get her. We take it's... Disney World and move it to no. Z O H. What's Zo? Z O H, Ohio. Oh, okay. Woo! <laughs> right. You know, for a while, um, <laughs> Disney was real dead set on erecting a uh, 
new mega park on Gettysburg, but <laughs> some people decided that Wait, what? maybe that, what? Is that a oh, thing? Oh yeah, no, Disney what? has had their eyes. No, no shit. Look it up. It's a funny story. Um, Disney has had their eyes on Gettysburg for decades, and I don't know why. <laughs> it's interesting. I've been to Gettysburg. Some, and it's, some, it's beautiful. Something. It's sad, but you know. Um, it, it really is a neat historical site. Um, and, and when you drive up there, it's almost kind of surreal because you're, you're driving through these mountains and all of a sudden you enter like this big, it almost feels like a crater. And, yeah. and at the bottom of this like big bowl of, you know, open fields is the town of Gettysburg and all the fields around are Civil War battle sites. And it's, it's really cool. But I don't know, what? I, but Disney looks at this and is like, we need a fucking amusement park here. <laughs> <laughs> the Gettysburg experience with Mickey Mouse. Oh yeah, Sparks, really. Do do look it up. It is funny. D- Disney wants Gettysburg bad. <laughs> oh son, boy. Junior's badly hurt. Okay. Yeah, th- I've never heard of that. That's kind of funny though. It is it like is funny. Something... <laughs> it's just kind of like this comical back and forth where Gettysburg's like, no, we're still a deeply disturbing historical site, <laughs> and Disney's still like, no, you're <laughs> We're, we're gonna get you. I don't know how, but we're gonna get you. <laughs> oh god! Don't fuck with the mouse. Oh, is this one of those things where you can save them? What? No, it's just they're gonna make this thing sink and. Oh, I see. They're all pirates. Right. They're pirates. Look at their pirates. headbands. They okay. deserve to die. Sorry, I get that Santa hats confused sometimes with the pirate hats. What's this guy think he's doing? <laughs> Giving you blue gems is what he's doing. Damn. All right. Look at him. Little, little penny pincher. <laughs> My little hostage. <laughs> Look at you, you big saver. <laughs> she she, she cleaned. <laughs> Seriously? Him out. Wow, he's plundered well. Holy crap. <laughs> Maria, Marina's just uh. She's getting him. Oh damn it! <laughs> God damn it! Why are you like this? <laughs> Why am I like this? Oh yeah, Sparks. I've been loving watching Disney mess with DeSantis. That has been so satisfying. Yeah, it has. It's like, hey, just in case you were under some kind of mistaken notion about who actually runs Florida. <laughs> Seriously. Like, yeah, you're, you you might be elected to for legislation, but when it comes to Florida's entire fucking economy, you. You thank the mouse for that, DeSantis. <laughs> you you kiss the goddamn ring. <laughs> you kiss the ring of Mickey Mouse. <laughs> Suck it, cocksucker. <laughs> you little bitch. <laughs> oh man. Well, yeah, it's Florida is a microcosm of what America could become. I know. And it's I think terrifying. They, they even say that in a in a good way. It's like, yeah, no, they're like, no, hey, if you know, is... if if DeSantis is elected president, we can all be like Florida. <laughs> oh, no, no, not even as like the blood like drips out of their ears. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, yeah. God, the this stages game. in this game were fucking amazing. Yeah, I never thought of it as a kid, but this is like totally like the two point five D is crazy. It kind of reminds me of the Mode 7 stage in um, Castlevania 4 where the castle's rotating. Oh, yeah. That was also cool as a kid. It's it was, like, but, but like it had nothing like fidelity-wise on this. Damn. Uh, okay. So, yeah, like that, that's just a story that I'm following like really closely because, like you said, um, you know, if, if for some reason we as a nation decide, yeah, Florida's on to something, like oh, Mike, like there would be no other instance where I would ever even consider homeschooling. But like, if if we're gonna have the DeSantis curriculum anywhere else, then yeah, I, I would probably keep my kids at home and just devote myself to teaching them what they need to know. Yeah, if they they would come yeah, out if that with that happened in Bloomington. Like, yeah, gotta it, help then you. it could happen <laughs> anywhere, right? Yeah, no, like they would come out with a really bad understanding of mathematics, but. A decent understanding of art and history. Uh, hey, we're meant to be creative. Like... That's right. But no, they they won't be balancing a checkbook. That's for damn sure. But you know, who has to balance a checkbook in 2023? That's kind of okay. one of the things I love about the future is banking. You know, like I don't really have to think about it. I just have to make sure at the end of the day that like all of my transactions are actually accurately on there. Then I'm good. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Like, it's crazy to think about, like, literally a a huge part of our parents, like, 
monthly to-do list was literally going Balancing through rec receipt by receipt and making sure that the numbers added up in their checkbook. Yeah. And that we will never have to do that again, essentially. What am I missing here? I'm not sure what that circle is all about. Try shaking them up. Shake. Try like an up shake. See if it doesn't. The, the spike balls were coming out of there. When I shook this one, mm -hmm. they stopped. They stopped. Who even? Yeah, well, that's right. Like, not, not only are they impractical, but a lot of companies just won't take checks anymore because it's like a 50 50 chance that it's that the money's even going to be there. Oh, well, I guess I'll just go through here. But I feel like this is the end of the stage. Yeah. Yep. Huh. That was weird. Uh -huh. That was a weird one. Okay. Well, we got our boss fight coming up. Megan Brawl. Yeah, rest in peace, shopping malls. I Sorry I missed that con comment. Oh, yeah, I remember this. Tell me who the Emperor is. I really don't know. I'm oh, just an old, horny Japanese man. <laughs> but he does know the Emperor. I don't know if he knows that he knows the Emperor. I don't think so. Oh, he's just, yeah. Maybe he's just like a real badass. He's not, he's not cracking under pressure. <laughs> right. Also, why can he fly? Did they ever explain that? No. No. That's just I something he can do. It, I mean, it looks like he's sitting on something. But yeah, right. I don't see any I don't see any like propulsion coming out of it. No. Nope. And in, in all the cut scenes where Marina throws him, like there's nothing under his ass, so I don't know. <laughs> Sparks, I wish Moving my company sun. wouldn't take checks. They're such a pain. We had someone's ten thousand one hundred and twenty dollar check bounce. And they're oh, still God. fighting them for the... See, yeah, and see, that's a problem with... I, I mean, de debit is just superior in every way. Like, you can only use the money that's in your account, and there's an yeah. instant digital footprint of the transaction, which you can view from your cell phone the second the money is taken out of your account. Oh, he eats them, doesn't he? Yep. <laughs> and then you just right. gotta grab his hands and make him punch himself. I remember <clears throat> this one well. I think, yeah, it bounces off the ground. God, that, that is some on-point sprite work, too. Seriously. Yeah. No, Marina! I love that. Oh, no, Marina! There okay. you go. Oh, that just did that. Oh, it's all right. You got, some, you got yourself some gems. Yeah, you got to up throw. There we there go. You go. Okay. Or no, down throw and make it ricochet. That's it. Oh, no, down, down. That's what I thought, but... There's also... Oh, the, the fireballs, I think I can... Um... I, I like how, those. yeah, I like how when, when he get, starts to get low on health, he fakes you out with the punches. He does. Like, do, 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 I do, can't, nope. I thought do, you do, could do, jump. Do, no, do, I got to nope. stay on the ground. Yeah. I love no. how you can see him in his throat as you punch him. Can I get this guy? Oh, I can, I can get it towards the dad. That's right. Oh, yeah, you can make him punch his dad. There we go. Yep, there it let's is. Get rid of, let's get rid of him. Stop punching your dad. <laughs> oh god oh. okay okay Suck now he's getting dad. he's getting he's getting he's, he's getting, getting great. yeah he knows yeah. what's up okay I can hit those there we go <laughs> there you go hope he's pissed Can I grab that one that's coming? Yeah, I think, I think you can. You can grab all of them. Yeah, if, or, if your reflexes are good. The thing is, there's no red arrows, so I'm wondering. No, there is, like, right before he swings it. That will give. That one has a red arrow. <laughs> oh, no, you're right. You're right. Yeah. You're you absolutely right. And then no he makes arrow. that dumb face, like, yep. oh, I'm punching wrong. <laughs> Sparks, why is he so weirdly 3D? Because this game had absolutely the best pre-rendered sprite work. Ever. Yeah, this was fucking awesome. But like, so these were 3D models, but you know the N64 was cap incapable of running them at this fidelity. So like Donkey Kong on the SNES, they they recorded sprites of the 3D models and just animated them super well. It's like very early CGI in old movies. That's right. Yeah, that's a good comparison. But no, these are all sprites, and that that's what's really amazing about it. Like I said, um, when, when we were playing the uh, Sea of Stars demo, I would kill for a completely modern, like, AAA sprite-based game. Yeah, seriously. 
and that's that's what's what the indies are like it's up to them oh yeah pretty the, much the, indi- to... the indies are absolutely crushing it right now but at the same time i would love to see something with the production values of a final fantasy 16 but in the most gorgeous like massive world pre-rendered background and sprite work that's ever been made like i, I would yeah i would kill to see what that would look like in 4k like a bunch of 4k like... sprites and backgrounds and then like they could still have like 3d effects layered over them so that the lighting is really incredible and yeah yeah legend of mana sparks i actually weirdly enough i put that on my cell phone <laughs> right after you said it oh yeah yeah oh that game's on the cell phone yeah man cell phones are the games you can play these days yeah because i have that like controller that i sneak in my work bag to just play the video backbone? games on my lunch break yeah yeah and, and so i figured hey if i'm gonna do like an rpg that's like pocket size that i can just go to on and off then it might as well be a mana game yeah <laughs> why is this guy taking so long to die i feel like there was like this is okay but at the same time i feel like there was some kind of strategy there was something there's a trick do. yeah there's a trick can, like can you throw his dad style. at him? There's something maybe can with you, his dad. Can you make him kiss his alive. dad? <laughs> <laughs> hey, how's okay, your dad? One more hit? Come on. Like, his fake outs are getting pretty good now. Yeah, that's cool. You, you're doing good at work. How's your dad? How's your dad? <laughs> your dad doing good? What's your dad up to? Yeah. Is he staying cool? Oh. Yeah. Still hot? No, Still I, didn't hot. Say, I don't know what you're talking about, dude. I'm just <laughs> fucking with you. <laughs> You know what would be All weird right. is if, oh, is if wow, I kissed your dad. Going. There we go. <laughs> Super hot. <laughs> kissing dads? Yeah. We need to normalize kissing our dads. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> oh, so- oh, I love that. That's right. You save him every, like, two worlds or so, and then he just gets kidnapped again. Lee, I would play games on the original Game Boy, but it feels hard to revert back to Lightless. Yeah, you know, I love um, Game Boy games, and G- and especially GBA games, but um, yeah, it, it's almost impossible to play something without a black light. Backlight. These I, was, days. I was about to say, what? Black, 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 black light. Light. Yeah, I like to have cancer <laughs> while I'm playing video games. <laughs> Do you remember that daddy dating game? No. I don't, but I am dating color game. me intrigued. Wait, that there there's an indie game that's uh oh, what is it called? I think that's, I know I what think that's talking what Sparks about. is talking about, yeah. <laughs> oh, hey, so real quick, uh Lee or Sparks or whoever who, whichever one of you was talking about uh, Game Boy games. Um pick up the um while you can. Oh, I have to look and see what it's called. There's this company that makes um consoles with they're, they're not emulators. They're like the original hardware, but they somehow make them HDMI compatible and whatnot. Um, but they made that that GBA and Game Boy system. Do you know what I'm talking about, Max? It, it looks like a Game Boy if it were released in 2023. Yeah. What, um, the, uh, the analog wait, pocket. It... The analog pocket. Okay, yeah. And they I, have I, a I... tiny, tiny one, too. Yes, like it, a... So so last summer, chain, basically. yeah, l- last summer for our 10th wedding anniversary, Sarah ordered one for me and it's just now shipping. Did you just figure that out during the stream? No, she, she told me about it like a week ago, but, but okay. um, it, it brought, it brought that to my attention. Like you guys okay. really need to check this out. The analog pocket, you can essentially play all your old Game Boy and GBA games on a beautiful, like oled mini screen and it and with a full backlight and it, it's almost like receiving hd ports of all of your old uh, portable games that's fucking awesome yeah and, and there's a dock where you can hook it up to your um to your tv and play them that oh, way too okay yeah. i'm thinking of something else then okay yeah this was some xenogears shit right here whatever oh, this guy seriously? is seriously they're showing kalina but and tricking these dudes yep Game Boy Micro. No, not the Game Boy Micro. Um, it, it is the it's called the Analog Pocket. It's a brand new system. Uh, I, these were such good characters. I know. Oh my god. And especially this guy, the Wolf. Oh, could Fire I? Fire justice is served. You. <laughs> <laughs> and they all explode so beautifully. Oh yeah, that's true. No, don't destroy. I remember Mur- Murko took as a kid took me forever. I Lunar will completely destroy them. Oh well, fuck. 
yeah, yeah. This is kind of fucking gun. <laughs> Enough. I said alive. My birthday is coming up. Can you all play Dream Daddy for my birthday? Yes, Sparks. <laughs> we can do that. So hey, tell you know what? Let's put it on the list. Private message us and tell us when your birthday is, and we will we'll play some Dream Daddy. All right. Sounds good to me. <laughs> well, that was the first we'll boss, Max, and we're at an hour 15, so... That's true. You know what? We'll we'll we can stop it here. Lewd? No, no, I'm lewd on this channel. No, never, never. <laughs> Means the prize to be won. Yes, yeah, a lot of story. I wasn't yeah, expecting. Right. <laughs> kind of forgot about this, but I do remember the athletic festival. I do. That, that's like, actually one of the most fun parts of the game. Yeah, very interesting. <laughs> Time for Athletic Fest. Why I have they to abbreviate win. it? <laughs> uh, again, I think this is limited memory. <laughs> <laughs> so is, is that a full body cast? Is that what that yeah, is? Yeah, That's it amazing. is. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure she's the one that put them in it. How do I even PM on Twitch? Oh, wait, no. It's just oh, a fake God. professor. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was a full body cast. <laughs> Oh, oh god, this god. game is so great. <laughs> a love letter a for love me? Letter. Shake, shake. <laughs> Little message box at the top, then type the Twitch user. Oh, okay, there we go. Of course, this game has an athletic festival. It's so Japanese. Yes, it is. <laughs> yep. <laughs> this game is quite Japanese. Actually, you remember, Max, the commercial for this game? No, I don't. But, like, before anime was um, even remotely mainstream in America... This this game, um, it had like some radical '90s teen playing the game, and then um, like the screens exploding and everything shaking, and then he looks back up at the camera and he has like these giant anime eyes. <laughs> no, okay, I'm gonna have to YouTube this commercial. Yeah, look up the Mischief Makers U.S. commercial. It is it is funny. All right, All right so well, how do you say? Next save? time, or is uh, it auto it's, 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 it, it auto saves. Hell yeah, way ahead of its time. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second. If I go back, oh no, it's always a microphone on the bottom. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Hey, righty. Well, Sweet. next time on Play that the Hits, terrifying. It really works. We'll go to the uh, the athletic festival. Yep. Yeah, let's let's uh, let's be athletic, sporty so these, boys. So these Clancers, uh, they should have been born Cybot G robots. <laughs> That's right. Clan pot shake. Okay. Sparks well, Lee, it was good talking to you. And thanks for joining us. Yeah. A little getting a little bit of uh, mischief. Well, uh, yeah, we'll have to do this again soon. Absolutely. See you next time. Uh, see you next time. <laughs>